Okay, hello everybody, what's up? It's Emily. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm an actor, I'm a singer, I live in Brooklyn. I make a lot of book content here on YouTube, but I also do some product reviews sometimes. You're probably either here because you are looking to get a bag that is chic and can fit some books, some, some page. You wanna fit some page in your bag, but still look chic and still look like you have a cute little handbag. Or maybe you're here specifically to get a little look-see at the tube specific bag bags that I am reviewing. Whichever of those reasons that you're here, I'm happy to have you. <laughs> Let's get into it. I have not like treated myself to a bag ever. Two years ago for my birthday, I asked my boyfriend for this Kate Spade handbag and it's amazing and I love it. I can link it down below, although I don't know if it's even like still made. I love it. But as you can see, it's a little large. I found like last year, the year before that, the year before that, since COVID restrictions have lifted, which was a, a while ago. You know, I live in Brooklyn, I'm young, I go out. I find that I just don't, I don't have bags to like, go out with like bags that are on the smaller side that I don't have to put like so much stuff in. And so I was like, I'm gonna treat myself to some bags. A week or two ago, I saw Haley Barber post this bag, which is the Coach Terry Hobo bag on her Instagram. It apparently holds a ton of books and it just looks like a very cute little handbag. And even if I have like one book that's even like 500 pages, I can fit a lot of other things in it too. So as kind of a gal on the go here in the city, I just wanted a bag where like I can whip out a book on the subway, but not have to like carry this like massive bag with me. So I got the Terry Hobo bag. And then I also, I was having trouble like picking the colors. So the Terry Hobo comes in three colors. It comes in black, beige, and white. And I was looking at the beige and I really liked it, but the hardware on the beige is silver. And I wear mostly like gold jewelry and I have shoes with gold in them. And I was like, I don't want to have silver. It's not even silver hardware. It's like, it looks like a mirror. It's not even silver. Like, let's be honest, like that, that's not silver. So I looked at the smaller version of the Terry Hobo bag, which can't fit any books, but it's like a nice little going out bag. Like if I'm going to like a bar with some of my friends or going to get dinner or something, and I don't like necessarily need to bring a book with me, I can bring something like that. Or if I'm going to like an event or something. So I got the smaller version of the Terry Hobo bag, which is the Terry shoulder bag in beige. So I'm going to just kind of cut now to the unboxing because I got it last night and I could not wait. So I'm sorry, but I did get the footage of the unboxing. It's just not as produced looking as this. So let's cut to the unboxing and then I'll talk about price and we can kind of try it on and I can just talk a little bit more about my first impressions of the bag and like what it fits and everything. So let's go to the unboxing. First go to the Terry Hobo bag because that is the book bag. She is beautiful. I got it in black. We have the gold hardware. It has the zipper in the back here, which is nice, you know, if you just wanna grab something quick, like your keys or something, if you're traveling, a boarding pass or a passport or just something kind of like that you wanna keep safe and you can grab quickly. I know the Terry shoulder bag does not have the zipper in the back. We also have the option to do like a cross body situation, which I can model for you, but I, I'm not a huge cross body gal. It's a pretty like, I don't even know if you can see, like it's so dark, hold on, <laughs> I'm gonna, this is not the best production, but I'm just gonna use my phone flashlight for a second. So if you take a look in here, you have just, you know, a normal kind of like storage flap here. And then we have another zipper compartment 
inside. It's not a super complicated handbag. I don't like to have my handbags have like a ton of compartments. It's just kind of like overwhelming. I like to have one zipper inside maybe for like some lip gloss and stuff, some like products. Other than that, I just like everything to be in the main compartment. For my book, girlies on here and girlies includes everyone. I feel like when I say girlies, it's gender neutral, even though it's totally not, but whatever. So let's kind of just first experiment with this first A Court of Thorns and Roses book. This is 400 and change pages. Yeah. Yeah, there's a ton of space for more books and you can't really tell that there's a book in here which is amazing. I brought my handbag now which has some other stuff in it just to like see what I can fit. So I'm using this Ted Baker wallet now which is a little bit on the bigger side. So yeah that fits. Oh my god there's just this is like one of the this is like a Mary Poppins bag. I feel like I could just put so much stuff in this and it just the limit does not exist. So yeah this is with the Ted Baker wallet. You can see there's still a ton of space left. I would say those are like the two biggest things that I would put in the bag. So, you know, on average, I would say the books I read are like around this length, but let's see. I just want to go for it. I got my longest book that I have and I want to see if it fits. So it's Kingdom of Ash. This is 980 pages. So almost a thousand pages. Oh my God. <laughs> like it's so easy. It's so easy. It's just like in there. So this is a thousand page book and I'm going to put my wallet in here as well. It's definitely like reaching its limit with the bigger wallet and the 1000 page book, but it also just zipped up like super easily, like amazing. As you could see, like nothing's like bulking out of it really. So yeah, it fits. This is an amazing book bag. So I also wanted to just try a few other things. So I have my fourth wing books. I just wanted to see like what a hardcover would be like in here. This is definitely a little bit bigger, like absolutely no problem. Let's try to fit also iron flame in here. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. The fourth wing and the iron flame hardcovers do not fit in there at the same time. While those two hardcovers don't fit in at the same time, I wanted to see if maybe both the Crescent City books would fit in. Okay, so we have both Crescent City books in here. So these are both almost exactly 800 pages. They both fit in here, but I can't close it. So that's like 1600 pages. I really want to see like what the maximum like soft cover pages is. So Queen of Shadows is 650 pages. I will say like one book that is a thousand pages fits in here so easily. I'm just testing the limits now because I want to give you like an actual limit. So, and then we have Empire of Storms is like 690, 650, 690. Super easy. Oh, but it is hard. It's hard to close though. I can't really close it all the way. I think if I pushed it, I probably could, but I don't want to like break the zipper on my new bag. So I'm not going to do that. So let's try Empire of Storms and Air of Fire, which is 560, 680 plus 560. And we are there. It's a tight fit. As you can see, it's a little bit bulky here, but it looks like the about maximum amount of like soft cover pages it fits. 1,240 pages. So if you have any sort of big Sarah J Mass book, it fits in here very easily with like a large wallet. I can fit sunglasses, like a clip. So this is this is our Terry Hobo bag. I love it. I'm happy I went with the black for this specific one. So this Terry Hobo bag retails for 428, but if you go to the outlet website, let me find the price really quick. One second. So you can get it for 54% off for $199. So if you're looking for like a nice chic little handbag that also holds a nice book or something else maybe that you're trying to fit in a bag. If you just have a lot of stuff in your bag and you need kind of a, a bag with a good amount of space in it, this is definitely a good bag and I recommend it. As I said, I haven't purchased a lot of bags really or any bags for myself that are more than like 10 bucks. Like I just, I just don't buy bags. So I was like, I'm going to buy another one. I went to Europe 
God, like almost a year and a half ago now. I had this kind of like beige bag that was more of a going out bag, a little smaller. It was a cross body bag. I think I got it like with one of my stitch fixes five or six years ago. It was kind of just like my go-to, one of my go-to going out bags because it was neutral and it was pretty cheap. So it wasn't like that tragic, but my hairspray exploded in my bag and it was like, I packed it well. Like I packed it in this like drawstring bag, but I guess I should have done it in a Ziploc. It just totally ruined the bag. So I was like, like I should get like a nice tan bag. So I ended up getting this Terry shoulder bag, which I absolutely love. I love the white sides here, like the bottom and the sides are white. And I love this gold hardware. And I love how the hardware is also like on the shoulder strap. So that's something that's a little different. The Terry hobo bag does not really have this like nice gold chain. Also the Terry shoulder bag does not have the zipper compartment in the back like the Terry hobo has. I would say other than size like those are kind of the main differences between the two but they have similar shapes so I really really love this one of course it also comes with the shoulder option I'm just not a huge fan of that this one is sold for $350 regularly but you can get it for $189 at the Coach Outlet. So these two bags are only $10 difference in price. If you really wanna get this one, but you're like, oh, I'm not sure, is it more expensive? It's only $10 more, so do with that what you will. So this one comes in like many, many different colors. It comes in also like this beige color, but with silver hardware, which as I mentioned, I'm not a huge fan of. It comes in this black color with the gold hardware. I think it comes in like the normal kind of like coach canvas. And I think it comes in white as well, just like the Terry Hobo bag does. So take a look. I'll obviously like link both of the bags down below. Like I'm not gonna leave you hanging here. This is just really cute. I think it, it obviously will go with a lot. What I like about it is you have the beige, like you have the white, and then you have this kind of like outline which is darker and then you have the gold so it is like a neutral bag but you definitely have some like fun kind of like unique stuff going on with it so this is smaller so i want to see if this ted baker wallet fits in oh my god so easily so easily yeah this will definitely it's not gonna fit a book obviously but ted baker wallet there's still a ton of room doesn't bulk out at all the way these bags are designed it is a lot more spacious than it looks i appreciate that about it so I, yeah i mean i could definitely Definitely fit kind of just the basics that I would need for going out wallet we have hair clip could definitely also fit some some sunglasses and then we'd probably be a little maxed out not too much again when I bring this out I might just go with my smaller coach wallet instead of like this big boy here but for a smaller shoulder bag like this definitely feels a lot more spacious than I was expecting and again it's like it kind of has this like triangle thing going on with its design that the Terry Hobo bag has as well. So it just fits a lot more than it kind of looks like it does, which again, oh, I hope my hair isn't like up the microphone, which again, I really appreciate. Anyway, so those are the two bags that I have for you. I hope this video was helpful. I mean, I really, really am excited to just be able to like go to like therapy or like go shopping or like if I'm going to like meet a friend for lunch or something, I can take my Terry Hobo bag and like whip out my book on the train without having to bring this like massive bag or like even just like a cheap like, um, what's it called, like tote bag from like, you know, a film festival I went to. I can have like my, my chic coach Terry Hobo bag and feel elevated, but also like bring my books with me. I think that that's so exciting. And I also now have this nice beige bag that I can go out with like tonight, Jean-Luc and I are going to our friend's house. And normally I would just kind of like get my ID, get my phone, get my keys and throw them in my pocket. But I will be taking her with me this evening because I'm not going to be reading on my way to like going out with my boyfriend somewhere. So I'll be bringing my nice Terry shoulder bag. I really love this one. I feel like this one isn't like a very talked about color, but like, I don't I don't understand why. This, this was like a no brainer for me. Yeah, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if like you've tried out these bags and what you think. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.